New claim as a very senior manager in uh, Chevron. And I was in the Labour Congress, Nigeria Labour Congress. And the other is that their business is to make money as corporate organizations, the oil companies, the multinationals, you know. Um, Chevron is one of the uh, well-known worldwide multinational company. And I was a labor man working for the Texas Workers Union. And from that time, we knew each other. And uh, recently, I was going through my some of my old documents, and I saw that when I was elected on the 18th of February 2000, 1999, as president of the NSC, Clemagua and five others were signatories to a congratulatory message, a joint statement, which they signed as Committee of Friends and Brothers. That was 1999. Uh, so we've come along. We have no claim as a young man. I've known him as a husband. I've known him as a father. And I've known him as a grandfather. Like a golden fish that cannot hide, claims a hunger for excellence was easily noticed and thus blossomed such that in 1996, he was seconded to the Chevron Oil Corporation in Houston to deliver his expertise in shipping. In the year 2006, Prince Abba was again called upon to deliver another top-class performance in Kazakhstan, where he was seconded again in 2006 to Chevron Oil Tengiz to run a massive logistic chain as head over 1,600 staff. Claims brilliance, inventiveness, charisma, humaneness, generosity, discipline, and professional ethos have endeared him to many. In recognition of his immense talents and unwavering commitment to service and development of society, he responded to the clarion call of the comrade governor Adams Ali Oshomele to join the rescue team that was fully charged and prepared to take a do state to the highest possible height in political governance and development. As governor of a do state, I, when I was privileged to be so elected, and he contributed to that process in terms of ideas, both financially, morally, and otherwise. I told him, I said, Clem, the challenge of changing a dusty goes beyond financial support to candidate. Because we now live in a world that is knowledge driven. I am not afraid of any kind of poverty. The only poverty I'm afraid of is the poverty of ideas. And unfortunately, God, even in his infinite mercy, does not give all the ideas you need to one man. And that is why people say, and it is true, two good heads are better than one. I persuaded him to leave his lucrative job in Chevron to come and work for the people of Edo State so that together we can redefine and change the narrative of the Edo State uh, situation. And he accepted. I, I persuaded Chevron to give him leave of absence to earn a salary that was a fraction of what he was earning as a manager in Chevron working in the procurement department. I took claim, at the end of the day, whatever money we make, how much can we do for our people? But with this instrument of governance, we can do so much for our people. And since you are concerned about the condition and the well-being of your people, the, the most potent weapon, in my opinion, that can be used to change the fortune of communities and a nation 
is true governance. And the quality of governance is a function of the quality of brains of those who are in government. But not brains alone. It also has to do with the commitment, the level of commitment of those who are in government. What is their primary motivation? Is it about money? Is it about self-help? Or is it about delivering the greatest good to the greatest number? So let me put it this way. I blackmail claim to leave is much more attractive remuneration in Chevron to come and work for a poor Edo state, which at that time was not really taken seriously for reasons I did not need to go to. And together we claim, we thought, we planned, we agonized, we, we work hard along with others to create a blueprint to rebuild the revenue a base of Edo State and to begin to tackle one after the other some of the things we consider as critical issues that need to be addressed in order to put Edo State on the, on the path of sustainable growth and development.